Hello again, Pop Talks fans. It's me, Ryan. So you know it's time for another episode of Ryan's Pop Tarts Review. Yay! Okay, so what uh, what do we got in store today? Well, I got a plate. So it's clearly not going to be another fake out, and you're not going to get another Pop Tarts bites or something weird like that. Some kind of crazy, unthinkable thing like a Pop Tart cereal or something nutty. Because that's silly. Why would that exist? That's not real. Today's Pop Tarts is kind of epic and I'm kind of excited because I have never tried anything well uh I've probably tried something like it but never a pop tart like it so I, I I'm, I'm I'm super jazzed I, I cannot wait to get into these so what's it gonna be have a look yes that's right it's pop tart splits I did don't know what I was thinking when I did that bit, but it's a thing that happened and we're all gonna have to live with it now, so let's move on. Uh, splits, okay. So these have been in my cupboard forever and I, I've just been forgetting about them because they live over in the junk food cupboard and I never go in there because I try not to eat junk food. Pop Tart splits, we've got them. They're limited edition with a value pack of 16. So are they still available in stores? I don't know, I don't care because I have them here and that's all that matters to me because I live in the moment. So, boom. What is the flavor we're looking at? Flavors, yes, that's important. Splits on one side, drizzled sugar cookie on the other, frosted brownie batter. So you can see, yeah, we got a sugar cookie on one side and brownie batter on the other. That seems like a pretty good combo. I mean, I uh, have tried, what, one, two kinds of sugar cookie Pop-Tarts before, and uh, they were good. I liked them, as far as I don't recall. And the other one is chocolate which, you know, um, me and chocolate Pop-Tarts don't have the <laughs> most friendly of histories, but it's not a chocolate tart, it's the chocolate icing in the middle. So that should be fine, I think, really. Um, I, I just don't like the chocolate cookie part around it that much. So I think this is gonna be great. I'm really excited. I don't know how many times I need to say that, but I'm gonna keep saying it until they get in my mouth and then I don't like them. And then I'm gonna be like, no! But I think I am going to like them because it sounds good and tasty and I like cookies and I love cookies. So open her up, pull out a pack. I have been good. I have not touched these, obviously, because I have to de-glue the cardboard to get in. So yeah, uh, go me and willpower. Strength to not eat pop tarts or reviewing them so I can give you an honest first glimpse of how I truly feel about them. Hooray! That's called journalistic integrity, or something. I don't know. I'm not a journalist and I have no integrity, so... Okay, off the bat, not super impressed. <laughs> um, the sugar cookie side is squiggly. They're not great squiggles, but you can only really expect so much. Um. But the chocolate side, the sprinkles are all just down the middle. They're supposed to be everywhere. They're just here. What's going on? And this one, it looks like the chocolate has melted over onto the sugar cookie side, which is... I mean, not visually appealing. I'm sure it's not going to make a difference in taste. Visual component is, is uh, you know, pretty big in my book, but I'm going to let this slide. We're going to give them a fair shake and see how they taste, so... Toast! Toast. Hey, toaster. You know, that's not a very good bit either, is it? I'm just gonna press the button. Wrong. I'm not even good at pressing the button. Jeez. I could be forgiven for not being good at comedy, but you think I should be able to work a toaster pretty well. You know, it's funny. I got bored and almost ate some of these cherry tomatoes during the break, and then I realized that they would really mess with the flavor of the Pop-Tarts I'm about to eat, so it's a good thing I stopped myself. Go away, cherry tomatoes. I don't need your healthy fizz. All right, Pop-Tarts, out they come. They are still hot. Why did I... Because, ouch, 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 I haven't had Pop-Tarts in a long time and my thingies are burning. <sighs> All right, 
enough waiting. I'm just going to go for it. We're going to see how this is, how this is going to go down. They're still hot. Why? Okay. Ow. Seriously. Fudge. Fudge brownie. Okay, whatever. I'm getting impatient. I'm just going to deal with the burn. First side, sugar cookie. I've got a good feeling about this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's very plain. There's not much going on here. It's basically just, yeah, basically just a crust. That's very disappointing. All right. Now I got a whiff of chocolate when I pull these out of the foil, so bottom it up, I guess. Maybe this will taste better. Mm-hmm. Oh, very chocolatey. Oh, you know, chocolatey enough. Anyway, it's not overpowering or anything. It's good. I like it. It's nice. And uh, I guess the coupe de grace will just go right down the middle and see what they taste like combined. Well, no surprises there. Mostly just tastes like chocolate. But it is understated. It's got a nice chocolatiness to it. It's not too chocolatey. It's good. I like it. Mm -hmm. It is actually a little bit <laughs> disappointing. Um, I'm surprised. I'm totally shocked. Like the sugar cookie has no sugar cookie flavor on that side. It's it's a whole lot of nothing. Like it's it's kind of sad, but taken as a whole, like you eat them down the middle, I suppose, and that's fine enough. We'll do. Let's give it another chance. Like let's just pull off this bit of chocolate there. Yeah, it's so plain. There's no like vanilla, no anything. It's weird. It's weird. I'm, I I do not expect so such a lack of flavor from Pop Tarts, but it's the way it is. It's the way it goes. All right, so I guess that is that. Um, as a quick follow up to last episode, when I looked at the Pop Tarts and bites and noticed that they were 150 calories per pack, I've noticed that this box says that these are 200 calories, and that's all it says. Yeah. Where's the thing? I got slime. Uh... Oh my goodness. <gasps> I am shocked and appalled. It is 200 calories for one pastry. Oh man. So yeah, if you're getting 400 calories in a pack of Pop-Tarts. Again, I don't really know what that means, but it can't be good. Oh, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. I should not eat this other Pop-Tart. I'll just save you for later, bud. And that brings us to the end of another episode of Ryan's Pop-Tarts Review. Um, I want to sincerely thank you for watching because I, I'm just happy that you're taking an interest in something I'm doing. That's all. It's really nice of you, and I appreciate that. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. But yeah, that's the end. So hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>